So, let's set the scene. So, you've completed your, well, you, after today, you would have completed your 40 hours of training. And we're, we're going to revisit something we've done before, the beginner's first lesson, where I'm going to role play a pupil that's, let's say I've just turned 17, I know that's a bit of a stretch on the imagination, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's my 17th birthday, I've got my provisional, and I've not had any lessons before, I haven't been out with mum and dad or no. in a car. Um, but you, you know, you can ask me that for my role, so um, to find out a bit about me. Um, you're, you've asked for this because you're about to go out on a training license. You just wanted to sort of practice on me a little, do a little role play because this lesson's really the one you want to get right because it's like your first impression. Yeah. If they have a good first lesson, they're going to say, "Oh yeah, I want to book more." Yeah, they'll be happy with you as their instructor. I've turned up with my phone that's on, like they will, won't they? Because we talked about that just a minute ago, about make sure I do something with that. Um, and you've got a route planned. Yeah. You're happy with that? Um, and you can, of course, come out and roll at any point. If you think, do you know what? I um, want to ask something, or if you get in a muddle, don't worry, just come out and roll and do that. If I need to come out and roll, I will. Yeah. You know, but otherwise we'll try and just stay in yeah. and make it as real as possible. So if I just give you the confused look, you know, I am confused. I'll yeah. sort of yeah. ex- I will let you know how I'm feeling. If I'm happy or no I'm happy because I'll be like, Oh right, yeah, great. I like that. Yeah, that's really good. I will do all of that sort of stuff. So uh, but if I'm not happy, I'll be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what you mean. I don't understand. You know, so you'll, you'll know what I'm thinking. Yeah. I won't hide that from you. So um, I'll be very transparent. So uh, should we do it? Let's so do it. I've just jumped in. Then You've, we've done we're the done eyesight. The yeah. You'd see my license done, and that's it. I mean, so yeah. So yeah. Whenever you're ready, I'll be in mode if you like. Right. So how are you today? And how looking um, forward to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. First things first. Your phone is it on silent or is it off? Oh yeah, but and where should we put that? Should we so you remember it when you leave? Um, Driver side door. Will I be finishing that side? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Put it over there. Then. Yeah, I don't want to forget that. Yeah. My life's in there. That's it. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's that. I'll be like done in if I haven't. And your keys phone. and everything, they're all in there, ready for when you. Well, um, my parents are in. I haven't yeah. got my keys, they're not going anywhere. So yeah. Be right. yeah. Well, that's all I've got with me. Right, so let's just go. Well, first of all, have you got any previous experience with driving? Moped or anything? A push bike. Push bike? Yeah. So you know some sort of rules of the road? Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I well, right, used my bike on the road. It's got going into college and yeah. before that going to school. Yeah. Well, today we're going to go through the basics. The main thing for you today is going to be moving off and stopping. All right, so we're going right, to get yeah. you. And the, the most important thing today is going to be the clutch. Right. Okay. While we're looking at the controls. Yeah. Do you know what the pedals are? Yeah. Well, one is like the accelerator. Yeah. What one's that? Is that the one on the right? Yeah. And then the brake in the middle? Yeah. And then, yeah, the clutch thing. Clutch. Yeah, clutch. Do you know yeah. what the clutch does? Uh, something to do with you changing the gears. I know yeah. if you've got a, an automatic, it doesn't have a clutch. Because yeah. my, my mum's is manual. But my dad's car is, he has automatic. Yeah. And the, yeah, there's no, obviously no pedal. Just two pedals. So yeah. Pretty much no that's all about. I know about the clutch, really. Yeah, we'll go through the clutch in more detail in a minute. All right. As I'll yeah. do a little demo drive, and we'll explain how you get right. to buy yeah. and everything. Okay. Yeah. So you notice down there, you've got a couple of pedals as well. All oh, right. Yeah. Is that like your dual controls? Yeah. It's, yeah. They said you'd have like be able to stop me and things. Yeah, they'll be my pedals for when all I'm right. sitting there and you're driving, just in case. All oh, right. Oh, that's We good. need them. Oh, so there, you notice I've only got two, and yeah. you've got three here. That's weird. So I've not got an accelerator that side. Okay. Because obviously I don't need you to, I won't need to speed you up. 
Oh, just just want to make sure we can oh, right, come back. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need, isn't it? So, <laughs> <laughs> no one else getting tipsy. As long as you can stop me, yeah. it's like I'll, <laughs> I'll worry about. Yeah. So, yeah. no, I'll do a little demo drive. Okay. Just talking about what I'm doing, because and then you'll be doing it in a minute as well. All right, yeah. I'll so, be. first of all, I'm just going to get my seatbelt on if you've yeah. got yours on. Just while we put our seatbelts on, do you know what the... Um, Whose responsibility is as a driver for you to have your seatbelt on? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Imagine this is the driver's responsibility. If you're over um, 14, yeah. it's your responsibility. Oh, well, it's like a passenger? Yeah. Okay. So and then if you're 13 or below, it's a driver's responsibility. Oh, yeah, I've got a brother. He's like, well, he's nearly going to be 14. So, yeah. Uh, so so you're if I take him out, you need to make sure he's got his belt on. But when he's 14, it's like up to him. Well, would you want, say you did have a crash, would you want him to be no, bouncing no, around? No, no, I'd want him to have his seatbelt on. Yeah, so if that was me, I'd just be making sure everyone's got their belt on. All right, but what, legally, it's like, up, it's, it's... Legally, it's, it's his responsibility after oh, he's 14, but... All right, okay. If you're that sort of person, you just make sure he's got his belt on. Yeah, yeah no, I will. Yeah? Yes. So, first of all... We've got the key. Some some cars don't have keys, they just have a... Yeah, my dad's has a button and my mum's has a key. Yeah. yeah. So this one, the old-fashioned way, key in, turn it on, then you see all the warning lights come on. Most of them will go off before we start the engine. Okay. But there's one check we do, well, a couple of checks we do before we start the engine. Make sure the handbrake's on and the gear's in neutral. Oh, okay. Do you know what would happen if the gear was in first and we start the engine? Would it move forward? Yeah, it would jolt forward and then oh. there's a car in front. Oh, Gonna right. crash into him, aren't we? Oh, yeah, gotcha. So that's the first thing we do. Yeah. Make sure the handbrake's on, gear's in neutral. Yeah. This car, you have to put the clutch down to start it. So you okay. put your left foot on the clutch, fully down, and then start the engine. There's a stop start, so we need the clutch. Oh. So you say you're waiting at traffic lights, bring the clutch up, the car will stop, turn off, and then oh, as yeah, soon as you put yeah. the clutch down, it'll start up again. Yeah, mum's got that. She don't like it, she turns it off. She, she don't like it when it stops. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, it's, it takes a bit of getting used to, but... Okay. So, car's on. You can now see all the lights have gone off, apart uh -huh. from one, which says P. Oh, right. Do you know what that might be? Park. Yeah, park. So, so oh, that, we'll call that guess. the handbrake parking yeah. brake. Okay. Yeah, so that's right. what you do when you stopped. Let's make sure no one's part. I'll put the foot on the brake, and then to release that, push the button in, pull it up, and then push down. And you'll see that there's no warning light has gone off. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because some cars have a, like, a button, don't they, yeah. for a handbrake? So, did you want to have a go at doing that? Oh, yeah, stiff, isn't That's it? it? And then down the bottom. And then when we pull it up, yeah. so it's down like that, when we pull it up, we want to push the button in to pull it up. Oh, okay. Because if you hear that, there's all teeth there, and you don't want to grind them off. Oh, okay. So, when you do it, push the button in and pull it back up, and then let go. Is that. Why is it stiff? Oh, push it in. Yeah? Okay. Then that's secure there. Yeah? That uh -huh. sound good to you? Yeah. Why is it so stiff? Probably because we pulled it up too far. So your mum might get in the car I after. I can't move the right then. So, so how do you do it? If so you easy. pull it up a little bit, and then push the button in. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I see. So Got the further it. you pull it up, the stiffer it's going to be. But you yeah. don't want to no, yeah, yank I it up. I couldn't put the button in. It was like you... Yeah. It's quite hard. So you've got to pull it up a little bit, button in, oh, release. Okay. Yeah, so now oh, we're going right. to talk a little bit more about the clutch, the biting point. Right. Did you have any idea about the biting point? <laughs> no, sorry. No? So, we'll talk about the, the clutch a little bit more and the biting point. Alright, yeah. So, what, what does the engine need to connect to to make the car go? Well, have to connect them to the wheels on it. Yeah, the wheels. So we want to make the wheels go round. So the clutch 
connects to the engine with two plates. Okay. So when the, the clutch is down, yeah. the plates are apart. Okay. When the clutch comes up, yeah. they close. Uh-huh. So we want to do that as smoothly as possible. Because what would happen if we went down really quick, because they've got all little teeth on them, what would happen if we went down really quick? They'd bite each other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They'd be jumping in, trying to get, trying to lock in, wouldn't they? Oh, okay. So if you done it slowly. Will it be like grindy? Yeah. Like, okay. And then like, have you ever seen a car going down the road, there's kangaroo and then they're, they're like that? Yeah, yeah, when my sister had the drive. Yeah. yeah. That's Outside, yeah, so they went bouncing up the road as well, funny. Yeah, that's because they brought the clutch up too quick and it's jumping in, trying to catch in them teeth. Right. So if we do it nice and slow, yeah. it'll connect and then it'll be nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah? Okay, yeah. So, so what, the, the clutch just joins what the engine and the wheels together? Yeah. Makes sense. And we need a gear in there as well. All right, okay. So you'd have one side, you put the gear in, slide the gear in and then bring the clutch up slow and it'd start to connect and then it'd rub and it'd be smooth. So and then we'd we'd go. Ah, okay. But I'll give more a demonstration on the clutch now. So that's the what you said about the biting. The Is biting. that where they bite each other? Or yeah, so that's when they're fully connected. Or when they're ready to Yeah. Confuse <laughs> them. Yeah. Is it when they're fully connected? No. Uh, what is it? It's when, so the car is ready to move, like you've, you've I can't explain They just like touch. They're, they're touching. And then when they're fully up, they're fully connected. Okay. All right, yeah. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So if we just shut our windows, I know it's hot. Sorry, I'm doing it for you. Force of habit. I pressed it and yeah. it <laughs> just, yeah, <laughs> went out. So I'm just gonna give it. Just briefly, before we get going, I've done what's known as a cockpit drill, but we'll go through that later on. So you just want to make sure everything's set up, the mirrors, steering wheel, seat. But we'll go through that more once we've done a little loop. That's what pilots do, isn't it? Yeah. Cockpit drill. So you can be a pilot to that. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So just quick demonstration on the clutch as we're, we're moving, yeah? So foot fully down on the on clutch, the clutch left foot, yeah? yeah. Gear into first, yeah. and then I'm going to bring the clutch up slowly, and you just tell me when you hear the note of the engine change a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There. There. Yeah. So that yeah. that's what's known as a biting point. Oh yeah, the car like moved. Though. Yeah. It, like, you so if you put your hand on there, you might even feel it vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. It's about, like. Yeah. So when it's at that point, we're then going to keep our feet dead still. Oh, that's the bite. That's the bite point. Together. So we're then prepared to move off. Okay. So to be fully prepared, we'll go through this. To be fully prepared, one hand on the steering wheel. Yeah. One hand on the handbrake. Uh -huh. Right foot covering the gas but not pressing. Oh, okay. So that, that is us fully prepared to go. We're like a 100 meter race, we're ready to go. No, oh, like a sprinter. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So we're fully prepared. We're now going to do some observations, we call them. Okay. So I'm going to look from the left to the right. Well, first of all, I'm going to check the centre right mirror to make sure it's clear. If it is clear, I'm then going to do a full, what we call a six point check. Oh, uh, we had to do that, something like that on our cycling proficiency. You had to like look. Yeah. So we'll be yeah, che check. I'll just put this stuff in stuff while we we'll talk about this. So what we'll do, because we're moving off to the right, we're going to start from the left. Oh, okay. So have you ever heard of checking blind spots or anything about um, blind spots? Well, I imagine it's just like over your shoulder. Yeah. yeah. So you want to check over your left shoulder. All right, yeah. Then in the left mirror. Okay. Then ahead. Uh-huh. That mirror. Uh-huh. That mirror. And then your right blind spot. I'm clicked in. I'm oh. clicked in. Oh, I thought the handbrake no. had come off. <laughs> Okay. So that that would be our observations, and then we'd be ready to move for safe. So okay. I'll go. I'll talk through what I'm doing. So gear in first, clutch was down. Find the bite. There. Yeah. yeah. Right foot covering the gas. Left hand on the handbrake. Right hand on the steering wheel. Okay. Check centre right mirror. 
see if it's clear. It's clear. Oh, you got a mirror here. Yeah, you can adjust that so you can see out the back if you want. Go on then. Yeah. You can get mine. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. Yeah. So check that as clear, then I'll do my full six point check. All right, yeah. Oh, around the. Yeah. And then if we're safe to go, handbrake up, release the handbrake, and you can feel we're starting to move. I'm just gradually bringing the clutch up a millimetre at a time. A millimetre at a time. So now the clutch is fully up. Oh, you look. Yeah. All right, okay. So I haven't got my feet on nothing at the minute. Just the gas. My right foot is covering the gas. The accelerator. Yeah. Right, so if we want to give it a little bit more gas, we just press a, we just press a gas pedal a millimetre at a time. Yeah. Okay. We'll stay in first gear because I'll I'll stop at the the end of the road, then we'll go left. So to go past a parked car, just check my centre right mirror because we're going to be going over to the right hand side of the road. So centre right mirror, just steer around a little bit. So we're coming up to the T-junction here. So we check my centre left Marking mirror because we're going left. Signal left. Right foot covering the brake. Left foot down on the clutch, pressing the brake as we come to a stop. I'll put my handbrake on just for this. So you put the clutch down? Yeah. Then. Yeah. Okay. Because then, the, if you didn't put the clutch down, the, yeah. the plates would still be together, but they'd be still, they would still. Still. Oh, is that where so you conk out? Every time we stop, we're going to be putting the clutch down. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we'll do is we'll prepare again. So, I've, the gear was already in first. Yeah. Get the bike. There. Yeah. Yeah. Right hand on the steering wheel, left hand on the handbrake, right foot covering the gas. Then you look. Then we're going to look. But here, we wouldn't need to do a. Well, we, we would now because we've been here for a while. Oh, yeah. But normally we would just be looking left and right, making sure it's clear. So do you think that's clear? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll release the handbrake. Clutch comes up very slow. Slow okay. again. And now the clutch is fully up, still no gas. So today we don't need to use as much gas as what we will do in the future. We just want to get you moving without stalling. Okay, yeah. so now I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on the gas. Yeah. And now you can sound like the engine is struggling a little bit. Well, not struggling, but... Getting noisy. Get, yeah, getting noisy. So now we're going to change it to second gear. So my right foot is off the gas, clutch fully down, gear into second, clutch up slow again, and then a little bit more pressure oh, on so the gas. Oh, so you put the clutch down and then put the gear in. Yeah, right? yeah, so you okay. lift off the gas, clutch down, gear, in, gear into second if that's where we're going clutch up slow and then put your right foot on the gas. So you don't want to have foot on the gas and foot on the clutch. Right. You don't want to cross over. So you want to lift off the gas totally, clutch down right. into yeah. the gear. Why is that? Confused face. Because if not, they'd be you'd be revving the engine and trying to get them into a gear as well. Right. Sorry, are we going the next left or the left after? Sorry. I'll answer that now. Yeah. Not the next, the one after yeah, the second fine. left. Yeah. There is a car behind, so to speed up a little bit. We'll talk about your okay. question in a second, but we're going to be going this next left. So we're in third gear at the minute. Now, roll. Perhaps you could show me what you mean if you don't lift, lift yeah. off the gas when you change gear. What would happen? Yeah. Then I'll be like, ah. Oh. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, because it is a demonstration. Yeah. Show me the. Show me bad. Yeah. Something bad, and yeah. then I'll understand. Right. What? what why? Yeah, so... I can compare a good one to a bad one. Yeah. So yeah, get wrong. Right, so next we... Next left. Next left, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just get on the next left and then we'll do. So we're going to be turning left here. So we'll be checking the centre left mirror. Uh -huh. Signalling left, slowing down on the brake. Just covering the brake. Watch my hands how I'm steering. I've got my left hand at the top. I'm pulling it round and then pushing it up. To steer round. Okay. So that's the term that we're going to be using pull push. There is a car behind, so I'll just check the centre left mirror and just bring it in here, just so she can go past, because I want to give you a good demonstration. Do you mind if we have the air conditioner? Yeah, that's fine, yeah. I'll just... It's getting a bit what warm. What is it on here, this one? It's one less. You warm, right a bit, left a bit, <laughs> down a bit. <laughs> oh, just, yeah. I thought it was on already. That one. Right. There you go. that would cool us down. So we'll just get going again, yeah. So now I'm going to...
demonstrate what you were saying about if you'd have the gas down and trying to change yeah, gear really, as well. Yeah, we were trying to yeah. say that. So we've got the gas on at the minute. Yeah. Clutch down. Can you hear it revving? Yeah. So that's going to make us speed up too quick. Yeah, yeah, I felt it there. Yeah, we want it to be nice and smooth. Okay. So again, if we now we'll do it so the gas is off and then you'll be able to tell the difference. So I'm now going to change from second to third. Yeah. Gas off, clutch down into third, clutch up slow. Um, you couldn't even feel that yeah, that happened, yeah, did you? No. Yeah. So it's but it was smooth, yeah. Yeah, smooth. Didn't rev up. So what we want to do, just quickly with the steering again. Yeah. You notice how I brought my hand up to the top and then I pulled it round. Yeah. We don't want to have a fixed grip like that and try and turn it. Right, what do you mean? So, as I'm steering here, I'll just bring it in a second. If I had a fixed grip like that, look how my hand uh, is like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? So we want to have a pull and a push oh, up. Okay, okay. But we'll go through that again. Okay, yeah. So again, if I stop here again, just on the clutch again, if you just so tell, you put the clutch down. Yeah, so when we're stopping, clutch fully down. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, if you tell me again when I've got the bite, just so we know you can hear it. There. There. Yeah, there. Yeah? Fairly. So I'm prepared again. Looking. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Yeah? So handbrake up, clutch up very slow. You can see I'm doing it a millimetre at a time. And the clutch is now fully up. Okay. Okay, so we're going around this centre right mirror, steer round, and then we'll just pull up here on the left. But can you, do you mind not doing it in my house? Yeah, that's fine. Because, you know, my sister, when she went off, if we had a right old laugh. Yeah. I, yeah, d spare me, please. Yeah. Spare me. Well, I'll go around here. And yeah, that's a good idea. Because they will, they'll film it. They'll film it. So I'm slowing down now. I've got my foot on the brake. Okay. Just before we stop, clutch down. See that now we've stopped, mm -hmm. handbrake on, gear's still in second. So you can stop in any gear. Alright. Okay, so clutch is still down. Across and in. Wouldn't that still though if it's in gear, if you stop? Well, as long as the clutch is down. Right, okay. Yeah, because the plates are open. Uh huh. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So again. Handbrake on, so we'll find the bite. Yeah. There. Yeah, I feel that. Fully prepared, looking left and right. Handbrake off. Clutch is still coming up slow, it's still not fully up. Still not fully up, and now it is. So you okay. can see we can just tick along with no gas. Mm -hmm. But as we get more advanced, we'll want to be moving off quicker, so we'll be using the gas. But today we're just going to be, well, for the first few, we're just going to be using clutch just to get you started. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. And then when we're stopped, we'll be keeping our hands on the wheel until we're fully stopped. Handbrake up, gear into neutral, cancel signal. Yeah. I know that's a lot to take in, but yeah, we'll no, go through all that. You were just saying about keeping your hands on the wheel. When you were explaining things, a lot of the time you didn't even have your hands on the wheel. Yeah, that was what I was giving, uh, I was trying to... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But it's you always best. That, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. It's best to have both hands on the wheel. Yeah. More. Okay. Yeah, that makes more that control makes sense. over the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Shall we undo the windows as we're going to turn the engine off? Yo, oh, yes. That yeah. one. Okay. Right. And then should we swap over? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My turn. Yeah. So, Really silly question, not patronising you, but how are you going to get out of the vehicle? Open the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you could get out and I could climb over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what you mean? I'm not like Starsky and actually going to get out of the window. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Fly across a bonnet. Yeah. Are you, um, how are you going to open the door? It's a silly question. Or where are you going to look before you get out? Um, where I want to look? Um, like down the footpath. Yeah. Behind yeah. you, maybe, in case there's someone coming. Yeah. I'd, well, I normally look in that mirror to see if anything's coming. Cause, yeah. You know, I, I, I've opened the door before Mum shouted at me because there was someone coming on their bike. So, yeah, I whizzed about for that. Yeah. Well, 
have you ever heard of something called the Dutch Reach? <laughs> no. Dutch no. Grip? No, no, Dutch, no, not Dutch Reach. <laughs> yeah, Dutch Dutch something. I know. Reach. Yeah, yeah, Dutch Reach. No, I've not heard of that. Yeah, that is. So you can have your right hand on the door handle. Well, your hand or a right hand. Yeah, yeah, your 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 right. No, your that left. One. Your left. My left. Yeah. Yeah. And then your right hand on there. And then oh, that'll yeah. make yeah, and then that'll make your body twist. So you can see you're already twisting to go out the door, aren't you? So then that means you can look. It forces I'm you not, to I'd probably have to twist away that one. The other arm. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, your okay. furthest one, yeah. Because then you've got it? more control over the oh, car door as that's well. That's reach. Yeah. What's that? Thing, yeah, because there's so many cyclists over there. Oh, okay. Alright. So that forces you to twist your body. Yeah. Okay. That sound. So sound yeah, safer. it reminds me to look in a blind spot. Yeah, and then what are we looking for there, do you think? What could be coming up there? Pedestrian. Yeah. Cyclist. Cyclist, yeah. Um, anything. So obviously we don't want the door to be ripped off or the no. cyclist to crash. No, I've had that but well, you know. They swerved and yeah. mum just sort of... And then obviously a windy day as well. You've got more control over the car. Oh yeah, because you can catch in the wind, can't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that's happened as well. And then what way are you going to walk around the car? Probably learn this in primary school. I'm but... going to go the quickest way. So, well, it don't really matter. It's a short car, so front or back. If I had a... If it is my dad's, because he's got a big, long estate, I'd go around the front because it'd be shorter, shorter. <laughs> Were you ever told to always not cross between cars and walk behind the car? Well, yeah, when crossing the road. Yeah, yeah. they say you don't cross the road between two parked cars. Yeah, then. and then they do also say stand up on the curb so you can see over and people can see you. Yeah, yeah, when, yeah, they taught us to yeah, stand on the front path and avoid going between cars. Yeah. So what way are you going to walk now? Then? I don't know why they said that. Though. I just remember they were saying it. Because people wouldn't be able to see you between parked cars, would they? Oh, is if, that why? Yeah, if, oh, you, okay. if you were little and you were between two parked cars and the car's coming that way, oh, so you're going to be just, there and no one's going to be able to see yeah, you, are they? why they... Even, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So what, we'll um, go around the back then? Go around the back. Oh, okay. Lovely. Should we, should we swap seats? Yeah. The seat is fully back, so you can get in comfortably and then... Okay. Oh, you PC back? Yeah, okay. it's already back for me anyway. But so I'm walking past. Uh, yeah, you're I was going to say, pop your seatbelt on. Oh, okay. that's good. You don't always have to put your seatbelt on first, but it's force a habit for me because obviously you never know. Someone might hit you in the back. Hmm. Not trying to worry already, but right, yeah, it's maybe like <laughs> a bit deep. Right, but okay. so get my seatbelt on then. Yeah, get your seatbelt on first. Okay. And then we're just going to quickly run through the cockpit drill, very, very quickly. Okay. Okay. So this is a cockpit drill. It's a short term D triple S M. I'll go through what they are. So the D is doors. So you just want to make sure the doors are shut. How, how, how can we check that the doors are shut? Well, I'm looking in the mirrors to see if you can see if they'd line up. Yeah, mirrors. They look shut. Might see a bit of light coming through there if it's just a jar. Yeah. That light might be on. Oh, yeah. So yeah, just give it a quick wiggle. Done. Shut. Next one, seat. Oh yeah. So 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 under me. there, you've got a little. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. And then you can one. shuffle forward. So we want to be making sure. A oh. squash. <laughs> yeah. So we might always say yeah. Yeah. Put your seat back on after this. All oh, right. And go oh, far, yeah, yeah, far forward. Yeah, because you. If yeah. you move forward, so you get you didn't yourself. move. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't move with me. So yeah, when you move a seat, you might want to take your belt off. Just I know, I've, I've just yeah, they, yeah, because they do that, don't they? Yeah. 
if you stop you going through the windscreen yeah. there. But you it slowly. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah, okay. So the most important thing when moving your seat is your left foot is comfortable on the clutch. So can you put your foot fully down on the clutch? Well, press it. Yeah, fully down. Yeah. Is that a comfortable distance for you? I don't know what comfortable it is, but so, yeah, it feels so, like I can do it. So there should be a little bend in your knee. It shouldn't be dead straight, but it shouldn't be... Because then the most... Yeah, that feels all right. That's a pedal that we need the most control over when we're controlling the bike. Oh, okay. Yeah? yeah? So we want to be able to hover it there until we're ready to move off. You don't want to be stretching and trying to hold it uh -huh. on the bike. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So also with the seat, is head restraint. <clears throat> do you know where the head restraint should be placed? Yeah, like what, what what level? In line with anything? I don't know it's if you behind, started yeah. your theory or anything like that. No. No, I didn't should I have done? I haven't. You can do. Some people oh. practice really early, but Well my mum did say perhaps you should pass that before you get in the car, but You don't have to. I was we like can, I can help with my that. My mates have done that. So I just thought I'd um get in the car then start doing it yeah so yeah should I start doing it then it'd be good yeah okay obviously if you get stuck with anything you can yeah, let you... me know and I'll help you I got that app that you sent us when I joined so yeah the theory test, test. Pro yeah. thing yeah I'll have a look at that yeah have a look at that and it's got hundreds of questions on is there that. a highway code on that because mum said I'd better buy you a highway code yeah I believe there is a highway code on it yeah I prefer reading it on my phone and rather than that yeah book. yeah Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Right, yeah. So the head restraint should, the rigid part, so the, the hard bit should be in line with your eyes or the top of your ear. Mm. So I'd say that's that's quite good there. Yeah. And then as close to the back of your head as comfortable. So obviously if anything did happen, if you're sitting forward like this and the head restraint is far back, it's going to be whiplash, whipcash. Ah, uh, right, oh, yeah, okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. So yeah. the next S would be steering. So the steering wheel. Is my seat all done, is it? Because sometimes I move this thing on the back, like the this thing. Don't the rake. Move, don't you have to move that? Yeah, I was going to talk about that when we do the steering wheel. Oh, beg it hard enough. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. You, that's all right. So with the steering wheel, if you pop your hands on top, both hands on top of the steering wheel like that, then bits touching the top. What bits? these bits yeah so that should be comfortable on there they should be touching the top of the steering wheel yeah. so your rake so now you can adjust why it. would you do drive like that that sounds a bit weird because why and then you when you that? relax your hands and you have them in the normal driving position so if you now put your hands on the steering wheel yeah it's supposed to be 10 to 2 or something then, yeah sort of them up, so. yeah right so that should be comfortable well, as long as it's comfortable for you, it doesn't have to be dead on there, as long as it's a comfortable position for you. Well, I can do that, yeah. Yeah, but you're reaching a bit, aren't you? Yeah, well, I can't reach it. Yeah. <laughs> However, I did that. Yeah. So, yeah. Whatever's comfortable for you. If you need to adjust yeah. the rake, it's on the side of the seat and it'll go backwards and forwards. Yeah. So, what's... So, should I... Bring yeah, it forward, adjust it? it so I can do that without reaching forwards. Yeah, but and then it, say. but the main thing is to be comfortable when you're driving. That's just a rough guide. Yeah. As long as you're comfortable when you're at ten to two and you can reach all the controls, that's the main thing. Does that feel comfortable for you? I think I know what you're trying to say. So if I can do that, then when I drive, I can. You can reach, sort of reach all around without stretching the yeah. steering wheel. Yeah, that's okay. why. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 So the next S, seat belt. You're already one step ahead. Yeah. Seat belt, and then mirrors. Oh, so yeah. you got three mirrors. Your side mirrors should look like that. So we want to see half road, half sky, uh -huh. with a little bit of car. So to adjust them. It's that little knob on the right hand side. That's yeah, right. turn that. Oh, what way? Uh, well, it depends on when you, if you want to change the right one, turn it right. Oh, okay. And then that. It's not moving. Is it? I don't know. 
What one is on this one? Oh, you got to put the ignition on there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So if you look at that, it should look roughly like that. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Just like that. Half road, half sky. Yeah. Bit of car. Yeah. And then if you do the same in that one. Uh, in this one. That's not too bad actually. Make it stay out a tiny bit. Yeah? Yeah. And then your centre one. You should be able to see you this one you can just move with your hand, but don't touch the glass. Oh I don't do oh, no. I, uh, that was out. <coughs> So, so you stay, don't touch the glass. Yeah, if you stay back and you sit, that's it. So you're in the normal position. Should be able to see as much of the back window as possible. Yeah. Have you got a picture of that? No. Yes. There is. So that that would be <laughs> ideal. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Yeah. So why oh, do you want to see as much as possible? So you well, don't want to be seeing yourself. Yeah, you don't that. want to see that he was sitting in the back seat. Do you? No. you just want to see like or yourself. No. I suppose you could do. Oh look! Oh look! My hair looks alright. No, I suppose you could just. Um, you want to see what's out. Out. Out behind. That's what's yeah. for in it. Like yeah. not see you or anything else. Just yeah. the, out the back. Yeah. While we're on the subject of mirrors, do you know what glass is in that mirror different to that mirror? Or to both mirrors. Well, it's just a mirror, isn't it? Like, um, I don't know what you mean. Um, that that mirror yeah. is a true image of of behind. That's a flat mirror. Well, it makes it look bigger. I thought. Really? Well, it's bigger than. Yeah, because in these ones they're called convex oh, okay. mirrors, oh, right. which is that that looks further away. So if you look behind, you could see. Can you see the telegraph pole? Mm -hmm. Can you see that in that mirror? Yeah. Yeah? Does that look closer in that mirror than that mirror? Yeah, it's closer here. Yeah. So that's a true image of what's behind. Oh, okay. And that gives a wider field of view as well. Oh, okay. So there's a wider field of view here, but it also looks further away. Does that make sense? Oh, I see, yeah. So that's yeah, a true that's, image. Yeah. That's further away. That's further away, but you've got a wilder, wilder, a wider field of view. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So, I know that was quick, but that was a cockpit drill, because I really want you to get moving today. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? So that's yeah, a cockpit yeah, drill. Yeah, getting going. Yeah. yeah? We'll just go over the controls quickly, which we did go through, didn't we? Do you remember what that was called? Handbrake. Gear. Gear stick. Gear stick. Steering wheel. Yeah. You know the pedals now, don't you? The clutch is the left one. Yeah. Then you got the brake in the middle and the accelerator. So you just press the brake with your left foot. Yeah. Is that what you were planning on doing? Well, it's in the middle, so I suppose you could use, use either foot. I don't know. So when we're talking back there about not stalling when we come for a stop. Yeah. If you had your left foot on the brake, how are you going to put a foot on the clutch? Oh yeah, you wouldn't marry. Really. No. So the left foot is for clutch only. So the right, because you're not going to be needing a left foot on the brake and a right foot ready for the gas, are you? Because mm. you're going to be slowing down, speeding up. Yeah. Yeah. So left foot clutch only. Yeah. Right foot for the brake and the gas. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. That sound good. So if I yeah, so if I stopped with my left foot. Still. The car would still, you'd be, you'd be, have you seen line of cars do that when they're coming up to a junction or they yeah, stop my sister. It and they're just they're juddering? Yeah, yeah. And then it'll stall. And we don't want to keep hard stalling, do we? Because that, that's going to, that's going to mess your car up at the end of the day. Keep doing that. Oh, yeah, I think that's why my mum said she wanted to, to pay for lessons. Yeah. She did think about having a go herself, but yeah. it's because she didn't have to pedal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or the patience. Yeah. <laughs> she thought she had someone else have a go. Who knows what they're doing? Yeah. All right. So yeah, left foot using the clutch only. Right foot on the brake. Right foot for the gas as well. Yeah. So should we start the engine up? Yeah. Yeah. So what two checks are you going to do before we do that? No, you did this. Didn't you? Yeah. Handbrake on a neutral. Yeah. 
And then what else do we have to do to start it? Well, you had a key, you had to turn it. With your left foot? The left foot? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know if I can turn it with my left foot. No. With my hand. About, about the clutch. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, okay. Um, oh, did you have to put, oh, did you put the clutch in, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Clutch yeah, so fully down, that. that's alright. So, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, and then you bring the clutch up, that's it. Well, it won't stall? No, because we're not in a gear, are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, Sorry. we'll have a go at doing the gears in a minute. Yeah. So, you're happy with the pedals? Like, you're happy with what they are, you can remember what they are. Am I allowed to press the gas? Yeah, that's what I was going to say, the next thing. So as you can see, it's really responsive, isn't it? Like, you might think you'd have to press it really hard to get going. Nice, yeah, but it's quite... So compared to the clutch, you're pushing the clutch fully down, but the, the gas is literally a millimetre at a time. Am I allowed to put the clutch down? Yep. So you put that fully down, don't you? Yeah. And again, with the brake, if you just press the brake a little bit, with your right foot. Yeah. So it doesn't go fully down the floor, does it? So we want the it brake. quite a long way. Yeah. But we won't be pushing it right down to the floor because we're just going to be coming for a stop really slow. When so it, when we're braking... We need to press it to the floor to make it stop. You would do eventually, but when we're just going at slow speeds, you just press it a millimetre at a time till you come for a stop. So you're not just going from all to nothing. You're just doing a little bit at a time. And then get to the bottom. And then, and then, yeah. It's down quite a long way. Yeah, you wouldn't need to press it as hard. When you feel the car come for a stop, that's how hard you'll know you've got to press it. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get a feeling for that when we move off and stop. Yeah. yeah. Just remember not to put your foot through the floor because we're, we're going to be braking hard, so a millimetre at a time, but I'll be talking you through. Just say more brake, more brake and stuff like that. Would that be risky then if I did that? Yeah. Why? Think about people behind. If you're driving down the road, you want the camera to stop slowly. Say you're going to pull over here on the left, there's a car following behind, then you suddenly break fully on as hard as you can. What's going to happen to oh, the MBI? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to um, bash into the back of me. Yeah, or have to... Yeah. We yeah. don't want that, do we? All oh, right, So okay. we want this to be nice and smooth, everything we do. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Okay, yeah. So, should we have a go at putting it into gear? So if you put your foot... If you put, stick, isn't it? If you put your foot... What do we say about the clutch to put a gear in? Oh, yeah, put the clutch down. Yeah? You put the clutch fully down, and then put it into first. Just looking at a roll for a sec. Yeah. Because I'm stro- I, I'm, I don't quite get it, do I, the gear? I keep looking confused. Yes. So... How can I explain more? What I would do is, you know, you've explained, you know, this is the engine. Turn, well, this is what I, I would just make it a little bit clear. I'm just going to turn the engine yeah, off yeah, just for yeah, now. Yeah. Just because watching and they don't obviously were idling outside their house they won't like it yeah so um so what I would just do to help them a little bit is say so, yeah, you, you know like you said you know how yeah the engine's turning so how the clutch is these two plates that separate the engine from the wheels okay so when we put a clutch down they separate these things so I'd ask them a few more questions. So how, what would we need to do with the clutch to make the engine connect? Oh yeah, bring it up. We always do that slowly, like you said. So with the gears, I, I just personally use a bit of a visual aid, like say these are gears. Yeah. So, so if we put the clutch down, we separate them. And yeah, when the clutch comes up when it's not in gear, these, these don't connect because there's no gear to connect the two plates. So but if we put a gear in, so if we put the clutch in, then to the floor and put a gear in. When the clutch comes up, now it can detect there's a gear, and as soon as they touch it, bites. So they're just biting on that gear, and that's the biting point. Yeah. And at that point, you keep the foot, no, the left foot still, and the car's just on the bite. And then we'd slowly release the clutch to connect, and yeah. the car would move forwards. Mm. Okay. So then the bit is a sort of missing. So let's say that's gear two, you've got gear two, gear one's in here, the clutch is fully up, fully engaged, the car's moving. 
how are you? So now I'm giving you a problem to solve. How are you going to put that gear in here? What would you need to do? Clutch. Down. Yeah. But before you do that, normally when you're driving, you're pressing the gas. So this, these are connected. So this is getting some power into it. So it's spinning. So if we don't release the gas, if we disconnect these, these this will spin a bit fast. Yeah. And there'll be a mismatch because this will be spinning fast and the wheel speed, the road speed, will be going slow. So when we reconnect, the jolt. Yeah. So to ease that, we're going to lift off the gas so we don't make this spin quicker and this then disconnects. Yeah. So we come off the gas, clutch it down. And how are you going to put that? What are you going to do now? That's it. Gear out, play, and then what you're going to see. Clutch up slow. And then you're going to reconnect. Yeah. That's it. So just going back to my little problem there, like I, my one, one is, why is it stiff? It's like, well, show me, like, say, basically, Howard, that's, you've got your clutch together, try and put the first gear in there, you can't, can you? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, you have to open it, put a gear in there. Now I can visualise what's happened, I just, I'm a bit confused yeah. about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, don't quite get it. And that's why I'm just sort of you keep saying, picking yeah. up on that. Yeah. So we just need to help the people self-evaluate and help them understand with some kind of visual and they go, all oh, right. Yeah. yeah so like, you know, when we stop without the, putting the clutch down, you know, when you were just saying like when I was left foot breaking. Yeah. Just saying, no, if your clutch is up and it's all connected, what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's stall. Get me to say that. So what do you need to do differently, Howard? Before you stop, I'd need to put the clutch down. So yeah, so what foot would you use? Oh yeah, the left. So what foot yeah. would you use for the brake? Oh, the right. So now do you understand yeah. why you need both feet to stop? Because you don't need the gas. There's three pedals and two feet. And the get you don't need the gas. So oh yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah. mate. Now it's like, ah, oh, got it. Got it. So I just, that's why I'm a bit confused. I just need a bit of, um, you know, what about the rest? Because I feel like the cockpit drill took longer than I wanted. I didn't take that no, long. No, you, you did a good job. Um, with the Dutch reach, you know, just going back, like with the Dutch reach, you know, so um, you kind of get into the solution. <coughs> Without asking you. Just say, look, Howard, yeah, because I was like, oh, what, what do you mean, climb over? So, yeah, so Howard, ask a focus question. Before you get out of the car, where are you going to look? Yeah. Like, oh, we're in the mirror. Yeah, where else? Good. And uh, who are you looking for? Right. And a, a really good tip would be, you know, to encourage us to look over our right shoulder. When I get out of the car, I use my opposite arm. Yeah. And it forces me just to twist for the side this. Then I can use the other hand there. So I've got both hands on the door. So if a gust of wind gets me, I've got control of the door. Yeah. And it's encouraging me to look over. And they, they call that... There's the Dutch to it. The Dutch roots, because they've got a lot of cyclists. And they're... From an early age, they encourage like their kids getting out. Oh, just have a lean. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So it's not, it's not wrong, but it's you, know, you just sort of jump in at the, yeah. the end of the story, if you like. So um. So anyway, I'm not going to go on. Where did we get up to? We've done. I'm you, you get back control. So yeah. So I've struggled with that. Yeah. And what, what point do you want to go back in? That You've not put it in gear, you were then going to try and put it in gear. The engine was running at that point. Did you want did you want me to get back with the engine running? Cause it depends yeah, because we're going to go in a minute. So, right, okay. So, and uh, do you want to talk about this fault or do you want to, you know what I've just did there, do you want to repeat that back to me or do you want to say, no, we've done that? That's fine, we've done that. And, okay, so I now know that. Yeah. Engine's running. Engine's running. Yeah, so if you now go and put it in first gear, make sure the clutch is down. You know why the clutch needs to be down now, don't you? Yeah, because the plates are together and you wouldn't get the gear in. Yeah, so it needs so, to be open. So clutch down. Clutch down, then put it in the first without looking at the gear stick. Try and do that. So if you look ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So if we try that again, but we literally look ahead. So if you put it back in the neutral. Well, I just got a member, so it's, it's not going to go in the R one, in the reverse. No, because that one, you'd have to push the gear stick down. Really? Yeah, we don't need to put it in reverse today, but it won't go in reverse now. So you don't look at the gear stick, look ahead. Yeah, yeah. Is that in first? Yeah. Are you sure? Do you know why? We, yeah. 
why wouldn't we look at the gear stick Just when we're way, driving? You could, if you look down there, you'd crash, wouldn't you? Yeah. Exactly, so we don't want to be looking at the gear stick as we're changing gear. Yeah, no, it's just got a land where they all are. Yeah. All right. Do you want to have a go at putting it into second as well? Well, I need second for what I'm doing now. No. No, no yeah, that's fine, that's yeah, we won't. leave it for fast then. So now shall we try and find the bite? So like before... Oh. Oh. Oh, it's started again. So it's not as far up as what you think, is it? So you want to bring it up very slow very slow yeah until you feel it and then what and then keep your foot still there there can you hear it now oh yeah, yeah. so that's the bite so if you put your foot oh, down yeah. again and then oh yeah about halfway up yeah yeah so okay. now you can see why it's really important that your your seat is in the right position your leg is comfortable because you're gonna have to be keeping it there until we set off on. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, makes sense. So, what we'll do now, we'll do something called POM, which is prepare, observe, move. I did speak a little bit about it back there, didn't I, when I was doing the demonstration. Yeah, you said prepare like you was gonna go on a race, like yeah. you did, what did you do? You so what parts can you remember about the prepare? Put it in gear, you got the bite. Yeah. Then I remember you saying, look at my hands, it's that. Yeah. And then with your right foot. Oh, and the cover in there. So you cover the gas, you don't okay. press it for now. Alright, yeah. Yeah? So now you're fully prepared. Okay. We're now gonna do observation, so prepare. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, so you observe. Did, like you looked all around. So where are you checking first? To make sure it's clear. Were you checking on the left side? First? Did did we say about checking ahead that mirror and your right mirror? Oh okay. Because if not, you're going to be quick, keep looking around the car, aren't you? We left to right, oh, okay. left to right. Uh -huh. So if you think it's clear after looking in your centre and your left mirror. Um, there's now, he's gone. Yeah, then you would do your full six point check starting from the left. All right, yeah. And then if you feel like it's safe, but we're not going to go yet because I haven't told you how to stop, I've just remembered that. Oh, <laughs> what do you want to say? So if you put your clutch down. Oh. What's that smell? So it's a little smell of something burning. Really? It might have been the clutch, maybe had it on too long. Well, I'm out of roll. You can't. But I've been on that bike quite steadily. That's because I was then time. expecting us to go, but yeah. I so haven't well, told you how to stop. So on another day, you know, I've just... Cause on the video, you won't get that, but I'm, I've been on that bike a while and I... Mm. And um, and quite heavy. Yeah. So you just want to get you know, look after your clutch because they won't. <laughs> They'll yeah. just crucify it. So yeah. So just be, be aware of that. So um, we can't smell anything because I'm not gonna. I don't want to hurt my car. But you know, yeah, on another day you think, oh, what's that smell? Like, what's going on there? Yeah. Oh, yes, my clutch wearing away before our noses. Okay. So um, so. I'll go back and throw, so I've taken it out of gear. Yeah, so that that is how we would set off. All right, can I, am I allowed to bring the clutch up? Yeah, yeah clutch up, yeah. Why have I said that? Why have I said am I allowed to bring the clutch up yet? Because... Do I not, fully understand it? No, you're confused about the... So, because it's taking me a little while to get. Yeah. So, any time I'm like, can I do... If I question something... You don't get it. Need to fully understand, so you'd have to say, okay, Howard. So you're out of gear, so these two plates, this yeah. one, the, you know, the clutch is up, but they don't connect, do they? So yeah, yeah they're not going to connect. If there was a gear in there, no. So if it's in neutral, you can bring that clutch up when the engine's running. Yeah. But you still try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. There's no bite point there, is there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. That's all I need is to understand it. Yeah. Because I don't. It's all new. It's not all, all this clutch, gears, all. It's all there's a lot of new information yeah. again. Okay, back and roll. So we've, we've pretended that we're set off, we're then going to have to come to a stop. Yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to we're gonna choose something. I'll tell you when to pull over towards the curb. Okay. Before we do that, I'll be getting you to check your centre left mirror to make sure there's nothing coming up the inside. What could be coming up the inside if we're going slow? Push bike. Yeah, push bike. Yeah. So we're checking that, make sure it's clear. Signaling left. 
don't do it now, but how would you signal left? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Down? Yeah, down. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. Because obviously we don't want to make sure, we don't want someone to think that we're, we're pulling out. If I signal left, would they think I'm pulling out? No, but you might not know what left and right for oh, the on, indicator. Uh, signaling left, yeah. You can... Left won't hurt. Yeah, one, that's what I just didn't know if you knew that Dan was left, oh, right okay. was up. Yeah. Yeah. I won't signal right, because I know what you mean, that this red car, yeah. I'm going to go out. Yeah, that was why I said don't do it, so in case yeah. you flip it. So again, out roll. That's the conversation we're going to have. So if I'm like going to whack it and say, well, hang on a minute, don't do that, because well, how, how do you think that, what do you think that white car will think if you've got a rock? Oh yeah, I think I'm coming out. Yeah. So if you want to have a go, would it be better to put a left signal on, do you think? Oh yeah, no, that one. Because I, you know, I've got reasonable intelligence. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. Yeah. You know, I'll be like, oh yeah, left. Yeah, I can put a left on. The Honda's not affected. They're like, no, oh yeah, that's I'm fine. Going yeah. anywhere. Yeah. So that having that conversation about <laughs> the choices I make, will I affect someone? The consequences of my actions, the consequences of that heavy break and that. Because I said, oh, would that be risky? Yeah. Because I really need to know. Yeah. If I start doing what I was doing there, then you're going to need a new, get, get yeah. a new car yeah. quite soon, isn't you? And the old whiplash is a real yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Where were we? We are talking about stopping. So you check your centre left mirror. Yeah, sorry, I had a go at my signal. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, yeah. signalling left. Then we're going to start the steering towards the kerb. Mm, yeah. But we're not going to go up it. We don't want to go up it, do we? Okay. Well, yeah, has that? Yeah, the blue car. Why? Why don't we want to go up the kerb? Why well, don't I? A few think, reasons. I thought, I thought that would probably be better because, like, you're blocking off the road, aren't you? But we're only going to be stopping for a few seconds, and we get going again, won't we? Oh, so if I was going to park outside me, I'd get it up on the footpath or the grass. It's up to you. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing to say. You can't. Really? Is there not? Oh. I know. I thought, I'm sure like the highway came. If there's no so double yellow lines, you should be out of park. What, so you can park on a footpath? Well, you shouldn't park, no. All right, Because okay. what are the footpaths for? People. Yeah, so you don't want to block them, but he's not actually blocking it, he's on the grass. That was why I was saying he could park there. Oh, so you can park on the verges? <laughs> right. oh, Let me just turn this over because doing me like, because I'm thinking Why are we, we getting do get complaints, you know. There's a car outside my house, engine running, they ain't doing nothing, they've been there ages. Yeah, we're discussing they the car on the verge at the minute. So yeah, so if we don't need the engine running, just kill it. Yeah. And um yeah, so I need to understand that yeah, people do it, but we shouldn't do it. Why shouldn't we do it? Oh yeah, right, yeah, but half people. <laughs> And the grass, if, well, if we keep parking on the grass, what's going to happen to that grass? It's going to wear out, muddy, mm. looks unsightly. Would you like someone parking outside your house? Okay, so um, where were we before? Car on Most verges. Car on verges. So yeah, so just to help the people self-evaluate and think about what the issue would be. Because yeah, we might park outside my house, but yeah, you know, we shouldn't do, should we? The road's wide enough, we should park on the road and blah blah blah. So I know, I think, all right, yeah, wear the grass out, look muddy. Yeah. Some people put bricks on it, they're like boulders to stop people doing it because they want their house to look nice because of the curb up here and all that. And they'd get, you know, if, if they had some nice pristine grass and we pulled up and rolled up on the grass, they'd be like, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Can you believe it? They'd come out. And if it had our driving school name down the side, which it does, they'd be like, on that phone, having a game so we will so anyway so so we're not going to go up the kerb in roll alright yeah so I'll park on the road not yeah. up the kerb and we don't want to mess the alloys up as well oh yeah yeah my dad goes on a lot about curbing it don't because my wife uh, my wife, <laughs> my, wife <laughs> my mum she um, she she borrowed his car and curbed it not happy yeah. And it could also mess a tracking up. So oh, your right. wheels are straight. If you keep going up the kerb loads of times, it's going to knock the tracking out. So you, what do you mean? What's tracking? So tracking is. So the 
they're level like that. They're, they're, they're tracked well, fine. Front wheels. Yeah, front wheels are fine. If you keep going up the kerb, it's going to keep bumping on the tyre. Yeah. And then the tracking's going to be out, so that might be like that. Oh, it won't run true anymore. Yeah. So oh, okay. What could that do with the tyres if wear we're not... Wear out. Yeah, so it could wear the outside down. Oh, yeah. Quicker. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. So we don't want to go up the kerbs. No. Yeah? Okay. So we're steered in. We might even have to give you a reference point yeah. if you can't judge that. But if not, I can come in with the wheel and just straighten you up if needed. Is that all right? Reference point. Yeah. Okay. So the reference point. So as you sit here... Where does the kerb come in, in the car? Does it come in Just anywhere? On, on the end of the window wiper? Yeah. yeah. So that could be... Oh, they're going to come out. What should we do? They've got enough room, haven't they? God, move it. Yeah. So you get me, get me started and yeah. you move the car forward. If you just um, start the car. Put the gear in it first. You do it. Clutch, no, the clutch is down. Just get me moving. Yeah. You're in control. That's it, just keep it straight like that. Let him out and then put us back there. So then we're not near too close to the junction. Yeah. So this is what they'd expect. They'd be like, you know, don't make it awkward. Or if they were their bad driver, they're just driving the side of your car. Yeah, so now put us back. So you would just intervene, this is, because uh, I can't do this. That's right, as long as you can keep the wheel straight. Yeah. What you're doing, you're in control, are you? I, I'm not I'm doing, in control, I'm... you just steer straight. Oh, okay. Am I doing all right? Yeah, fine. Okay. Fine there? Yeah. Okay. And if we just turn the engine off? Right, so where are we then? You the talked you talk about a reference point. Yeah, the, reference point. Come in, um, on the window wiper. So if you struggle to judge where how close we are to the kerb, the kerb should come in on your reference point, which oh, you're yeah, saying just, is on the window wiper. should make it look like that when I yeah. park. Okay. So you're steering towards the kerb until it comes into your reference point, and then we know we're in line with the kerb. Yeah. Yeah? Makes sense. Cool. And then... So we're not going to be on the gas, are we? Or would we? Yeah, we'll, we'll be on the gas a little bit. So I'll ask you to lift off the gas before we start to turn in. Okay. Yeah, so lift off the gas. Yeah. Check your centre left mirror. Signal uh, left. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fine yeah, with that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Down. Down, signal left, yeah. steering towards the kerb. Mm, yeah. We'll be covering the brake. it up. Yeah, we'll be covering our brake with our right foot. Yeah. Covering the clutch with our left foot. Yeah. And then as and then we're gonna put the clutch down as we're going slow. Right. And then just yeah. before we come to a stop, we're gonna just touch the brakes to bring us to a stop. Okay. So when we're talking about the brake, we're saying a millimetre at a time, right. weren't we? That's what we'll be doing when we okay. stop. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to do the hard stop. No. Oh yeah, because someone driving the back of us. Yeah. That'd so be a bad day, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Should we give that a go? Yes, please. Yeah. So what two checks? Once I've stopped, do I have to do anything then? Do I buy yes. out of the woods at that point? Or yeah, what? and then we'll need to secure the car. Oh, is that put the handbrake? Handbrake up. Gear. Gear into neutral. Okay. Cancel signal if it's still going. All oh, right. And yeah. then relax your feet. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So should we give that a go? Yeah, are you going to help me or how? Yeah, yes, or yeah, I was going to say that. So, do you want me to give you a full talk through, like tell you everything that you need to do for the first time? It's probably the best. Yeah, it's quite a lot of information there. Talk me through. Please. Yeah, so yeah. everything that I say, do. Do. Yeah. If something's not happening or you feel confused or you want me to help you out, I've got the dual control. So, if you want me to, if you're confused or say I'm confused, can you help me? Okay. Then. If, like I said, with the steering into the kerb, might just come in and correct you if, if not. Oh, so don't bash on your wheels, okay, yeah. yeah okay. If you're struggling with the, with the yeah. judgment on that. Okay. Yeah? yeah? So full talk through, I'll tell you what you're doing. Fine, yeah. Yeah? Brilliant. Should we give that a go? Yes, please. Yeah? So let's start the yeah. engine, but what two checks are you going to be doing first? Before starting the engine? Yeah. That and that? Yeah. Put the touch down, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, so you start the engine, so we need to prepare now. 
So can what part of prepare can you remember? Or should I, I'll talk you through this first one. Yeah, I speed yeah, things up when yeah. I'll be like ages trying to yeah. rub me through my brain. What yeah. You said, so uh, if we put gear into first, we left hand without looking at it. With the clutch down, yeah. Yeah, clutch fully down. Yeah, right foot covering the gas. Yeah. Left hand on the handbrake. Yeah. Right hand's on the steering wheel. Yeah. So now we want to find the bite. There. Maybe a little bit lower. Uh-huh. There, yeah, because you could feel the car was trying to go first, weren't it? Yeah. So now we're going to check centre right mirror. Sorry, keep this left foot still now, do I? Yeah, keep your left foot still. Okay. Check your centre right mirror. Yeah. Do you feel like it's safe to go? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so now you do your full six point check. Yeah. yeah, release your handbrake. Is it safe, is it? Yeah, I've done my check as well. Release your handbrake. That's it, and then left hand on the steering wheel. Bring the clutch up slow. Ah. And now we're moving. Ooh. So we're gonna have to go around this parked car, aren't we? Yeah. So if you check your centre right mirror, yeah. and then just start to steer out a bit, give it a bit more gas, just a little bit, a millimetre at a time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, does that feel good? Yeah. Do I have a signal around the car? No, you don't need to. We'll talk about that in a second. We'll just worry about this for now. So what we'll do is we'll keep going up here. Just ease off the gas a little bit. That's it. We're going to pull up by this lamp post up here. So if we just keep going. What lamp post? Just here, the telegraph pole side. Oh. So if we check our centre left mirror, signal left, start to steer in towards the curb a little bit. That's it. Line up? Yeah, line up. There? Yeah. Right foot covering the brake, left foot down on the clutch, fully down, yeah. and just squeeze the brake gently. Ooh, no, sorry. That's the first time we use the brake though, isn't it? So if we secure the car, so handbrake up, gear into neutral, yeah. cancel your signal, yeah. and then relax your feet. Oh, so you take them off. Come yeah, off yeah, to come off. Uh, yeah. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah, I like yeah. that. So the bite went well, didn't it, when we moved off? Yeah, I didn't, like, do you know what I mean? You were worried you were going to I wish I did go the outside my ass now, because yeah. <laughs> we didn't do, 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 do the kangaroo. Yeah. yeah. So you've yeah. done well with that. Done well with the gas when we were moving. When we pulled in, check your centre left mirror, signalled, steered in. Maybe when we're steering in, we don't want to be Yeah, I was judging a bit, oh, it. I didn't want to hit the camera. Yeah. Mm. We want to just keep it nice and smooth in and then straighten up. Okay, yeah. Yeah? So and then we covered the brake, clutch went down. Yeah. And then when you squeeze the brake, what could we do differently there? Not so hard. Yeah. Because if someone was behind, well, we weren't going that quick, but if we were going quicker and someone was close behind. Well, then they might run in the back of me. Yeah. So yeah. just squeeze the brake gently, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But now you've felt the brake you're going to know how responsive it is. Yeah. Yeah? So should we give that another go? Yeah, what about my question? I had a question. Your question, yeah. Your question about signalling when you go around parked oh, cars. Oh, yeah. What could be the issue if we signalled going around a parked car and there was loads of junctions here or driveways? I think my mum does, doesn't it? Yeah. Can you signal around a parked car? What could be the issue if you did? Well, yeah, um, if there was junctions here or... I don't know, I thought you were just supposed to tell him you're going around it. But if there was a junction here or a driveway, they might think you're going to pull in. Oh, okay. So if there's a car coming the other way, they might stop for you and think, oh, yeah, there you go, he oh, can pull yeah, in. Okay. Or someone oh, behind. So, do, all right, that's okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. So when we're going around it, centre right mirror, make sure it's safe, make sure no one's overtaking us, and then we must can admit, do it. when I'm on my push button, I don't signal to go around the park. I just look and go around. Yeah. So that's what we can do. Oh, yeah, no, it seems a bit, yeah, a bit too much to signal. Yeah. yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. So should we give that another go? Yeah. Full talk for again, because it's only your second time. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Talk me through again. Yeah, we'll give that a go then. Okay. So left foot fully down on the clutch. Gear in the first without looking. Right left hand on the handbrake. Right hand on the steering wheel, yeah. Right foot covering the gas. Left foot will find the bite again. Oh, lower? Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. So now check. Yeah, that's fine. Check your centre right mirror, see if it's safe. Yeah. Shall we look ahead as well? At this yeah, point? ahead, centre right mirror. Is yeah. it safe? It is at the minute, yeah. Yeah, and then if we do our full six point check, starting from the left, 
Yeah. Safe to go. Yeah. Yeah, release the handbrake. That's it, bring the clutch up slow. Ah. That's good, now the clutch is fully up. Left hand on the steering wheel. Right foot, a little bit more gas, just a little bit. Can I check my mirrors? Yeah, check your mirrors. Right, yeah. That's it, Bill. That's Ooh. it. It is the next left we go to, isn't it? Or, no, it's not, as fine. So what we'll do is, after this junction on the left, we're gonna pull up beside the grass, okay? Okay. So we won't signal before the junction because people might think we're turning in. Oh yeah. So now, if you check your center left mirror, yeah. signal left. That one? Yeah, start to steer in towards the curb. Left foot down on the clutch. Ooh. Right foot off the gas, covering the brake. The brake. That's it, and bring the brakes in slow, millimeter at a time and then secure the car, so handbrake up. Gear into neutral, cancel signal, relax feet. So take your feet off the pedal, oh, yeah. you relax, yeah? Oh, the engine stops? Yeah, that's how it stops start. Okay. Yeah, so Fine. when we put our foot on the clutch, it'll start up again. Ah. How do you feel that one went? Better. Better? Yeah. What about the, um, so you set off well again, done that, bit of gas, it was good. And then when we're coming in. Get me to say this. Yeah, so what went well? What um, went well? Well, what I was pleased with is that I'm not stalling <coughs> it. And I got going and I'm managing to get near the car and hit it. No. And I was really pleased with the braking was much better then. Yeah, smooth. Oh, was, I really, yeah, I think that was a good, I thought that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. There might have been some confusion with the um, foot on the gas and not the brake. Wasn't there? So rather than say that, ask me what anything there. Yeah, what could you, you improve on? That you feel you could have done better. What could I improve on? Um, well, I, just before the stop, I was a bit, I, I don't know what happened, but the red engine, wrong. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I don't know what I did wrong then. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Do you think your foot was on the wrong pedal? Um, I don't know, I pressed the gas, I think. Yeah. So what do we want to do when we slow down? What pedal do we need to be on? At uh, the brake? Yeah. Uh, what sort of thing? Put Sorry. your foot on the gas. Someone. So your left foot was on the clutch. Yeah. And your right foot was still on the gas, hovering over the gas. You need to move it over to the left on the brake. And that's why I wrote that. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Move over. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So I'll roll briefly. See how that's yeah. different. We, we really are encouraging them to be self-aware and take responsibility for their learning. Yeah. And so, you know, let them, you don't have to sit there and say you did this well, you did that well. Uh, yeah. You want to encourage them to tell, for them to tell you that. And if they're like, oh, I don't know, it's a bit rough, I don't know, it's rubbish. Really. No, no, well, hang on a minute. Did you stall when you moved off? I'll be like, no, so that was good, isn't it? So how did you manage not to stall? Well, I, why, I, um, I brought the clutch up nice and smooth, so yeah, so well done. How was your stop? Did you stop like, like, like last time, no? Yeah. So how did you manage to do that? Well, I just pressed it more gently this time. So is that an improvement? I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, so well done. You've done and doing a good job. Anything there you felt you could have done even better? Um, well, there was the, the little rev thing at the end. Okay. So do you know what, rather than tell me, do you know what caused that? Not sure, really. Okay, well, let's think where your feet were. So I was talking you through. So we, I said to you, Left foot over the clutch, then you put the clutch down, and then it happened. So what made that? What made the engine rev up? What pedal must you have pressed? Oh, the gas pedal. So now I understand. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So what pedal did you mean to press? I meant to press the brake. So yeah. So what did you do differently? I need to move my foot over. There. Yeah. Exactly. Do you want me to help with that next time? Yeah. So next time. Yeah. So we'll be covering the gas. You'll be. I say to you, right, say right foot off the gas. You can cover the brake, but don't press it. And we can get the clutch in, can't we? 
then then you'll be on the the correct pedal to gently turn, and then that won't happen. Like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, should we do that then? And yeah. now it's like we've agreed. Yeah, what's going to happen next? And then you're doing it in that style. Get in the habit of doing that when you do your standards check, and then your not standards check when you do your part three, and then your standards checks beyond that. You won't even break a sweat. You'll just be like, well, I just do what I always do. Yeah. It's like if you're a good driver and you always check your lines and do what you should be doing. When you come, when you know you come to do a part or your driving test, you don't need to think about it because you just, well, I just like I breathe. I just do that as habit. I just do that without thinking about it. Yeah. So if you start doing these things, you'll be like, well, you know, just a, that was just a normal lesson. I don't know what all the fuss is about, that's what I always do, and the examiner will be like, well, just keep doing that, because that's what you want to do. Yeah. You'll be like, so then you won't worry about this test, because it's not a test, it's just a normal lesson, with a, an examiner just making sure you follow those, those competencies, and if you're really getting your pupil, that client-centred coaching style out, and getting in to take responsibility for their learning, you know, you're going to be flying. So just yeah, keep working on that. Just yeah. Stop trying to give me the solution. Get me. Yeah. Because if you give me a good foundation, good knowledge, you can ask me. If I know that clutch works and the wrist pressing the brake too hard and all that kind of stuff, now I can start answering your questions and thinking about it. Yeah. So then I'll be like, it might take a bit longer. It's a bit like if you had a paint a decorator. Yeah, you could just think, do you know what, sod it, let's just go down B&Q, get the paint, slap it on, half a day looks great. Yeah. Six months, that looks good. Or you spend a couple of days preparing it and really doing a good job of the preparation, and then you just go and buy the paint, and now it lasts for six years or whatever. And you do yeah. know what I mean? It's like... Yeah. That, the preparation, get that them foundations in, and it everything in the... It will last them a lifetime of good driving rather than bad example of paint because paint don't last forever. But do you know what I mean? You're, you're, yeah. You've created it solid, solid foundations to build on yeah. rather than building on sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even know where I came up with this stuff. So, um, but it sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, okay. So you got me moving off stopping, doing a good job. So but what's no, next? Turning left. Well, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to go back into roll? Yeah, fine. Alright. I'm back in roll. So we've just been moving off and stopping in a straight line. Yeah, I really feel quite good with that. Yeah, feel mm -hmm. good with that. So now we're gonna go around the left hand bend. Alright, yeah. Well, we're well, going to turn, yeah, we're going to turn left. Okay. So, not too much to tell you about this because we're only be going around there slowly. Mm -hmm. So, the same as when we were going to pull over on the left, I'm going to get you to check your centre left mirror. Signal left. Yeah. You're going to be easing off the gas, depending yeah. on how fast we're going because we're quite close to the junction as it is. Yeah. So, we'll be easing off the gas, covering the brake but not pressing it. Okay. And then we're going to steer around. Uh -huh. And how are you going to steer? Well, on the drive, you said about... Pulling it. Yeah. And then, with the other hand... Oh, pull it. What is it? Pull and a push. Pull and a push. So okay. why don't we want to be going around there with a fixed grip? Oh, yeah, no, you... Because you'd be like that. Yeah. Yeah, you showed me. And then you might run out of turn. So you can't keep turning with your arms fixed, can you? Yeah, well, I more likely to go wide on the bend. Yeah. On the junction. Yeah. Like that would be so good, would it, if yeah. there's someone coming up? Yeah, okay. So we're going to be putting our left hand at about one o'clock. Oh, around here, okay. Yeah, and then we can pull it round and push it up. And then when we're around the corner, we can then reverse it so we can pull the right and straighten up. Okay, I'd do my best for that. Yeah. I'm a, yeah, I've, oh, yeah. Obviously, okay. if you need a hand with that, I can come in again okay. with the steering. Yeah. yeah. And then when we're in the new road, we'll just be checking our mirrors just to make sure 
no one's overtaken us or anything like that see what's going on the new road okay yeah we won't talk about gears because we'll just stay in first gear because we're near the when stay, in first stay in first gear. All right, yeah. So, like I said last time, I've got the dual controls. If you get confused or you need help, just say you need help. Yeah. What if I don't steer enough and we end up going wide and there's a car coming or a bike or something like that? What's, well, how, how, yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. Then either I'll bring us to a stop or I can steer. Oh, what, you're... I'll come in with a wheel if oh, needed. Oh, okay, yeah, that's alright. Yeah. yeah? That sounds like cool, yeah. What but we don't want to be running wide here, we want to stay a nice yeah. distance, so we want to follow the curb round. Okay. Alright, we don't want to steer out wide, we need to stay on our side of the road. Oh, no, Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Give it a go, yeah. Should we give that a go? Yeah. Did you want me to give you the full talk for again about setting off or about preparing the car? Because you've only done it a couple of times, well, haven't you? I think I can do it. So have a go. Yeah. So you feel if I, like... get, if I forget anything, you'll help me. Yeah. So you talk me through what you're doing. All right. Yeah. No, I, think then... I... I think I've got it. Yeah. I think well, I will say. Yeah. I'll have a go. Though. I'm yeah. happy to have a go. Yeah. Think, yeah. So if yeah. you talk me through what you're doing. So um. It's it says stop start. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've got a touch down. Yeah. One. Yep. Oh, I looked at it. Between one. Yeah. Um, then I come with gas. Yeah. Hand on the handbrake, steering wheel, and then I start on my. Are you opposite. fully prepared? Oh, no, no, I need the bike point. Yeah. Analyze that. You need to analyse that. Yeah. So why why do we need to be on the bike? Um, why aren't we fully prepared until we're on the bike? I don't know, really. So it so if you're not fully prepared and you've already looked around the car and yeah. you feel like you're you're safe to go and you're not on the bike ready, what could happen? Behind or around or Um I don't know, the situation could change. Yeah. So we want to be as ready as we can. Ask me how long it would take me to get my bite point. How long does it take you to get your bite point now? Oh, should I try? Um, yeah. About a few seconds? Yeah. Three, four seconds? So in that time, what could be coming? Oh, uh, yeah. Good... Someone could have pulled out. Oh, that driveway over yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we want to be fully prepared. So what would you do differently? So what would you do differently? I'd, um, I'd get the bite point first. Yeah. And why? And then why would you do that? So that when I've looked, I'm ready to go. Yeah. With no delay. That's good. So you see how that's just... Yeah. Getting out of me. Yeah. So well spotted. Easy back into roll. Yeah. So getting by, right, getting so I'm prepared. Yeah. And then I'm going to look ahead, and there's a car coming up behind, so send me right it looks safe. So now I do my six point as a bike. As a bike? Can I go before? Yeah, no, I can. I probably wait. wouldn't. I'd probably wait. It's up to you if you want to dip your clutch again so we're not on the bike. Unless you feel comfortable with your feet. Because obviously we don't want to be driving up there and then they're close behind. So what's like. I'd, I'd, let, I'd, le I'd let her. There's another car. I want to get rid of her before yeah. the junction. Oh, yeah, there's more cars coming. Yep. So, so oh, another one. They're all coming out. There's a learner down there. They're, they must be doing a lesson like us. They yeah. just swapped over. So that's their first lesson. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So I'm looking. I've got the bike. Yeah. Bit lower maybe. Bit lower. Yeah. I'm looking. Um, no bikes. Safe to go. Handbrake off. Yeah. Clutch up slowly. Yeah. And then it's fully up. Check my mirrors. So if you give it a little bit of gas, a bit of gas. just a little bit, check yeah. your centre left mirror. Yeah. There's a car behind. That's indicate the indicate left. Yeah. That's it. So we've got priority here. So now you need to cover the brake. 
cover the brake, hand at the top of the steering wheel, turn in, little bit of gas, so right foot on the gas. Oh. oh. Right foot on the gas. Oh, my foot was in the... Oh. That's it, and then straighten the wheel. What happened? We'll talk about that in a sec. We'll just get round this. You check your centre right mirror, straighten your, your hands up, centre two again. That's it. Yeah. Relax your arms, yeah? Try and be relaxed. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll it was when the car was behind me. We'll pull up after this car, right? Out. What are we going to do? Pull up? After this car, so we'll go round the car. Right. We'll pull up. up we'll yeah. pull up beside this little bit of this high curb on the left. Do you feel comfortable pulling up? Would you want me to talk? So yeah, no, let me have a go. Yeah. Mirrors. Yeah. Signal position. Get that line up. Yeah. And I touch down a little That's bit it. of brakes. Oh. Done that. That's, should we move forward a little bit? Right, secure the car. So handbrake yeah. up. Yeah. Gear into neutral. Cancel signal. And then relax your feet. We'll just we'll just stay here for a bit, yeah? Yeah. Should we turn the engine off? <laughs> I got whiplash now. Yeah, oh. That didn't go so well, did it? So oh. how do you feel that went? You just said you didn't feel stressful. like it went well. I was more stressed. <laughs> Uh, I was, well, you know, there was, yeah, I don't know, there's a little bit of a, a, yeah, a bit of a blur. Um, I didn't do this one on the junction, something went wrong there, and this was a bit of a disaster. Yeah. So when you set off there? Um, when I set off? Yeah, how'd you feel that went? That was good. Yeah, that, that was, was really good. good happy good. place. That, that was where good. It went well, yeah, I did, that. <laughs> I did that on my own, didn't I? Yeah, I did that. you done well with that. Yeah, no, I like that. So then we're approaching the junction. Yeah. Checked your mirrors, signalled, lifted off the gas. Yeah. And then you steered in. How do you feel you steered in? Actually, I went too bad. I, I, My arms were a bit muddled, but I, I, I didn't go wide. No. So I thought I was a white. And then did you notice, well, well you would have noticed when we were going around the corner, we almost stopped, didn't we? Yeah, I know what, what was going what, on. What happened there? Can you think of what happened? Um, Why that happened? No, I was just trying to do what you're telling me to do at the point at that point. So what did we say about our right foot? If we want to carry on going, we want to not speed up, we want to maintain speed, what pedal does that need to be on? The gas. And what pedal do you think you were on? The brake. Yeah. So what's the danger then if there was a car if we there was a car following close behind? Which there was. Which there was. But they didn't see what we were doing and we stopped totally. Yeah. What's the danger then? One of them running the back of me. Yeah. Yeah. So what what could we do to change that? Cover the gas pedal. Yeah. Because when we were going around the corner, yeah. you were covering the brake, weren't you? Yeah. You need to remember if you then need to put more gas on, what are you going to do? Oh, that's why I, oh, I know what happened. So that happened last you time. You said cover the brake, so I did, and then yeah. you said press the gas. So I I just put a bit of pressure on my, on my right foot. Yeah. Um, Maybe I should have said right foot yeah, covering the. Went all like that. Covering the gas. Oh, okay. So we'd cover the gas to go around the corner, not the brake. Well, you'd be, no, we would be covering the brake. What? Brakes before, before the bend, we accelerate, don't we? Yeah. We maintain just a bit of stability in the car. With the but even if you're going at that low speed? Well, as you, we're out of roll now. Yeah, because obviously I know, saw, I know you would normally that's not what, have brake. Well, yeah, you know, I've done what you've asked me to do. Yeah. And that's what's happened. So, I'm, if I'm, you know, if we're following someone around a corner and brake lights are on, now you're saying cover the brake. No, I did. I didn't press it. Yeah. I had a car very close behind. You know, and then, then you know, you, then you did say correctly, press the gas, but my foot's still on the wrong pedal. And I'm like, I'm yeah. at an early stage now where I can't just switch. I'm like going to just apply 
I don't know. I'm not looking at my feet, so I get mm. in a bit of a muddle. So I press the brake. And... So yeah, going around a corner or a junction, once the brake's done and the gear's in, once the brake's off, the clutch is up, we're back to the gas and driving in. Yeah. Just to maintain, yeah. not to speed up, but just to maintain the flow in, because if we reduce speed, even if it's just engine braking, we can get someone, you know, imagine a taxi there from us and we're engine braking through the corner. Um, could be a bit tricky. Now, there are exceptions. If it's a very tight junction, there's a parked car in there, then yes, of course, we would do it slightly different but as a best practice yeah yeah because obviously I know you don't want brakes when going around the corner yeah. but I thought I was, we would cover it in case there was a park car just as we turned in or yeah, anything may, maybe like that maybe cover the clutch yeah so then it's like we're going around just probably there's a park car so we're midway round just clutch goes down right foot over to the brakes and gently to a stop yeah lovely so, yeah. yeah, so that was just a little bit of an instruction. Was a bit. Yeah, I was just sort of. I confused you. Being instructed to do that, and I got in a muddle. Yeah, yeah. So that's that. And then, um, <coughs> and then, how do you feel about me? <coughs> my the stop because we stopped and I moved up again. There were two things happening there. So where my stop? I was going to talk about your hands after we straightened up. Yeah, but no, actually, how did I stop? Okay, so yeah, the hands is something that you asked me to sort my hands out. And then we come in there and you ask me, are you all right with this? And, and I stopped, didn't I? Yeah. And I messed it up. What did I do? How did I mess up my stop? Should I ask you that? Well, we're or out you, or, you, or you think, right, yeah, we're you didn't roll. put the clutch down. I did the same thing. I clutched down and revved it, didn't I? Yeah. Vroom. And, um, and from last time... That was the problem last time with this pupil, wasn't it? So you're getting the same fault. <laughs> so if you've agreed to help them at that point, yeah, there's a known issue. Yeah. Then that's where you're starting to adapt your instructions. So, right, okay, so are you happy to do this? Right, right. Yeah. Mirror signal, you can leave that to me. But that little bit of the end bit, you could help me and say, look, you know, just avoid what we did last time, you know, so with your right foot cover your brake first now get your clutch down gently on the brakes then it don't happen because I just repeat the same yeah. fault the yeah. same mistake um, and got the rev and then that flummoxed me I was all a bit now jiddy so then I've stopped and I went oh that went go so well and then what's the next thing you've asked me to do what did I ask you to do you asked me to move forwards yeah because you weren't happy with something. Yeah. And then I rushed it to know. Yeah. I didn't give it the full pom that I've been doing. I I think very like slowly at this stage. I'm like got to do go through it yeah. all in my head what I've got to do. And it was like as if I had the skill how I just move the car yeah. forward a bit here. Well, I was, and then I got in a right old muddle, didn't I? Because I rushed it, stalled it, kangarooed it and then I'm, now my heart's all gone and I've lost it I'm overloaded yeah. overloaded people I'm like oh. and now I'm like oh that didn't sound like that was rubbish I, well, what, I don't even know what I did wrong I just got in a tiz lost it so could when I, once I've stopped originally and did that little rev yeah my heart's going having a little flutter there I'm a bit stressed. What could you have done differently in that situation? Just said that we can move forward in a minute, or I could have moved it forward. Yeah, just want to get me to start. Why? Why did you ask me to move? Because forward. I felt like we were blocking the driveway. Yeah, let's have that conversation with the people. Yeah, just say right. It's okay. Yeah, then just imagine like then just rev doing all. Oh, so yeah, so that's it. Keep calm. Just you know. Handbrake neutral, that's a catch your signal, relax your feet, I'm So how do you feel with the stop? Oh yeah, I did that thing again, didn't I? Yeah, so what one? Yeah, I did, I, yeah, admittedly I said I'd help you with that, but I forgot. Okay, did it, right. So, let's have a look at where we've stopped. 
So have we stopped? When we when we pull up, we look somewhere safe, legal, convenient. How do how do you feel? Do you feel? Oh, I'm blocking their driveway. Yeah. So what would be the? Would you park here? I'd be like, no. Why not? Well, because if they they want to come in, I'm blocking. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. So if you were going to park your car and leave it, where would be a better place? I'd be like, well, probably if I just moved forwards a little bit, that would be better. Okay. Should we do that? So do you want to go through and just yeah? There's no one waiting to come out now. If we pull down the car behind, let's say, is signal yeah. to go in. No, I've just done what I did. Then you would, you could intervene yeah. and say, like, I'm, oh, don't worry about this, Howard. We'll have a little chat, but I'm, someone behind me wants to get in their driveway. So I'm just going to help you and get the car moved forward. So, yeah. And you you telling me you're going to do it for me, like you did earlier with the car reversing. Pull me up. And then have the conversation retrospectively about that. So, yeah, so what would be, oh, yeah, I've got their driveway. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and like we still are, aren't we? They, yeah. You know, if they come in, I'd, I'd feel obliged now to. Be. Yeah. But how long have we been here? No, they haven't come back, and we're good. Someone might want to come in here and reverse in, so they're going to need this bit of the road to sort of shove it around them. Yeah. And we'd move then. So you've got time, unless someone's there breathing down your neck, wanting to get in their house. Then of course, help me. Yeah. So um, yeah, you could have just taken a bit more time. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hey, all right. How long have we been in? So we've been there two hours. No, two hours we've been doing that for. Well, I, yeah, we've, yeah, about an hour and a half. And yeah, by the, yeah, but yeah. actually, we've been together two hours. By the time we got started and set it up and done all that, so what I do, I turn these up because that's like a good sort of place to, to yeah. stop these, and. Um, that's very useful for me because I, I do go back and just look at that thing. All right, yeah, helps me, it does, with what I do. And did I intervene at the right times? And did I listen to you? And so it's more for me. Yeah. And, but also help for you because then you think, oh, I yeah, I was going to say, yeah, because this is the could one. What you do differently? Yeah. And, you know, when I was in role, I was kind of trying to steer you a bit, give you a nudge, you know, and like, so, well, yeah, I look confused. Um, up on that anyway so if you don't mind